I think the, the common theme that, that runs through all the work in, in this particular moment, I'll go back to that idea of our, our connection and our disharmony with the natural world and how destructive that is and how critical it is as a species that we begin to see ourselves not as separate from nature, but as an integral aspect of nature, no different than any other creature that lives within this mass ecosystem we call planet Earth. Hi everybody, I'm Christopher Palbicki, and I'm a professional painter, and I work out of my home here in St. Paul, Minnesota, and I've been painting for 10 years, 10 years this year, in fact. I've got a show right now at the Bloomington uh, Civic Plaza. It's called Ego Logical, From Separation to Interbeing, and I'm excited, it's my first large-scale solo show. I'm really fascinated by the interplay between humanity and the natural world and our relationship to the natural world and not only the natural world but our relationship to ourselves and how that uh, is reflected in essentially the world that we've created uh, which I don't have to tell anyone out there is, is um, experiencing its full share of issues and trials and tribulations and uh, I'm a big believer in the fact that you know um, uh, the world is merely a reflection of our own inner being and the reason that part of the reason that uh, there's so much turmoil and, and despair in the world is that I think that ultimately on a personal level I think that despair and anguish is present within us as individuals um, and I think that our relationship to the natural world is, is tremendously out of balance. As you can see by looking at the work, the, the work is really illustrative, it's really detailed. Um, I, I, I work towards telling full stories in images. I used to be a filmmaker, I, I used to work in, in media production, so telling stories is like, you know, something that's just a part of me as an artist. And that desire to, to tell stories has translated over into painting. So I guess I would describe them as, as individual stories in and of themselves that are really detailed. There's a cinematic quality, I think, to the paintings. So I think that they kind of blend together, filmmaking and painting for me at least. I feel like my favorite artwork is always the one that I'm working on at the moment. Because um, I feel like with each piece, as with all artists, with everything that you do, you get better and better, whether you're a writer or a painter or whatever. So my favorite painting at the moment is this one that I'm working on. But I love all the paintings because I can remember exactly where I was as a person, where I was living, where I painted them. And I wouldn't go so far as to say that I think of them as my children. But you do develop an intimate relationship with your work. So in terms of favorites, no, I, I, I think I love all of them equally. Uh, I was really resistant to painting when, it, when I was exposed to it in that art class at the School of Visual Arts. But once I, once I started and started to experiment with it, I found that, that you know anyone can be a painter, anyone can do this. You know, it just takes a long time, and the only reason that it takes a long time is because this is just the kind of art that I find interesting. But there's all kinds of various ways to experiment with acrylics or oils or any other kind of medium. So if anyone out there is considering becoming an artist, absolutely you can do it. It's not outside the realm of possibility at all. In fact, I think humans are inherently creative and it's, you know, it's, it's natural for people to create and to be artists and to make things. Yeah.